Never Lost Overland. Where the heck are we? This can't be right. We're here in the Wanderlust Overland Test Kitchen and Pole Dancing Studio to talk to you a little bit about baking while overlanding. After days and days of grilled and fried food, something baked like bread, dessert, even a main course is a welcome relief. Our wood-fired brick oven in the Wanderlust Overland Test Kitchen makes great breads, desserts, all kinds of stuff that you can think of, but obviously it's way too big and bulky to be carrying it out on an overland trip. What we need is something light and compact enough to take for the trip. Let's take a look at four different types of ovens that we can take along. Now one of the most important things to remember about any method of baking is unlike frying, we want most of the heat on the sides and on the top and far less on the bottom. Now Dutch ovens have been around for hundreds of years and they come in a wide range of sizes, small enough for a single serving to large enough to feed a big hungry crew and they can be used as a pot or a frying pan. The trick to making these work and not burn the heck out of the bottom of your food is to put a much smaller amount of charcoal underneath than on top, maybe four to six under compared to a dozen or more on top. What's most appealing is its ability to hold heat due to the thick walls. It's also fairly easy to open the lid to check your food. Drawbacks of Dutch ovens, this one's actually made of aluminum and it's about a third of the weight of an iron one, but it's still pretty big and bulky to be packing along and you have to bring charcoal. Well worth the wait and the whole charcoal thing. Now on to one of our favorites. This is a reflector oven and like the Dutch oven, it's been around for hundreds of years too. But unlike the other forms of baking where you have coals under it and on top of it and around it, this actually gets heated from the infrared heat from the flames in front. The best thing about this oven is you can actually see your food while it's cooking and you can give it a turn every now and then. Second best is the way it sits flat during transport and how light it is. Downside, ours is relatively small, not ideal for cooking a whole chicken in, and you need to stay vigilant with the flames in the front, keeping the fire going. This is a rather primitive oven that we came up with ourselves, and we, this has become one of our favorites when we have time to use it in camp. It's simply a metal baking pan, a wire rack to keep the food off the bottom, and a foil covering with the ends open so smoke can get in. Keep it high off the fire and let it cook low and slow and get good and smoky. For a roast this size, figure on at least two hours so. Now on to a much more modern oven. This is called an Outback oven and it's geared more towards backpackers and canoe campers where size and weight means everything. Uh, it's a lot more complicated to use than any of the other methods we're showing you but if used properly, it gives fantastic results. We normally use this on top of our tiny stove, but can also be used on a large multi-burner stove too. It's good points, obviously the weight. It can be used as a frying pan too, with a non-stick coating. Best of all, you don't need to build a fire. It comes in handy when it's pouring down rain. Bad points, your stove will need to throttle way down to barely a simmer, otherwise you're going to end up cooking up a chunk of charcoal. Also, it's difficult to check on your food's progress because of the cover and it's a little tipsy on the diffuser. To bring it to a proper temp, turn your burner to medium and as soon as the thermostat needle gets into the bake range, turn the fire way down to as low as you can. Oh, it's my line? Uh, don't worry about it, I got this. Now there you go, you have four methods of baking. Try any one of these methods on your next overland journey and you will be the trip's hero for sure. <laughs> but that, it's still really heavy and big and bulky. Big and bulky? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Don't mind us. This is called a backpacker oven. No, it's not, is it? Squirrel. 
fucking nailed it. One take wonder.